you don't need top level management involvement to improve the quality of your data. It's enough for your IT manager to support your initiatives in improving the quality of your data. That's all you need. Guess what? That's a myth that we will break right now. Or even if you're not part of IT, your department's manager understands the need to have you cleanse your data so that you can provide them with more accurate reporting and to support their decision-making process. Let's not bother top-level management and involve them with our data quality endeavors. That's the wrong way of thinking. And here's why that is. You know what? Maybe you put in the effort and not just cleanse your data that you need for your processes or your reports or your software. Maybe you do more than that. Maybe you do more than just being reactive. Because let's be honest, if all you do is cleanse the data, that's a reactive action that you will keep on doing it. But if you don't have a data governance program to provide you with the necessary roles, policies, processes, and even technology to resolve your data quality issues and not just their outcomes. So let's just say that you're not just being reactive and you're not only cleansing your data, but you're actually putting the effort to do some of these things and, and tackle the root cause of the data quality issues. Without top management involvement, this can go south quickly. <laughs> First of all, a lot of data quality issues are only solved by having a cross-departmental view, by understanding the issues and cause of the issues from an organization perspective, not just a department perspective. Otherwise, whatever fixes you will employ might actually create bigger issues for other departments or have a negative impact to the entire organization. Please click the like button if you agree with this. And if you agree or if you don't, I would like to give you one example. Now, this one bank had multiple organizations entities in one of their databases. And their, let's say their mortgage loans and lines of credit unit was depending on this data in order to keep track of the employers of their customers. Now, one of the reports they had to put together was one where management could see how many customers they had from a specific employer. For example, how many customers were Apple employees? This would then help the bank provide Apple a good offer for personal banking that Apple could provide their employees as another perk for working there. Now I'm extracting from a real example and converting into this fictitious example in order to hide the identity of the organization that I'm referring to, as that's not important, but the lesson is. So back to the story. The mortgage loans and lines of credit unit noticed that there were multiple entries for Apple, one for each store, plus different headquarters and office buildings across the world they decided to standardize it and combine all of them under the one record because that's what they were manually doing before anyways. An individual was just collating all of the organizations that had Apple in the name. Plus, sometimes some would drop through if they were recently added or had spelling errors and so on. So in order to improve the quality of their data, they standardized it under Apple Computer Inc. as that's what it was called at the time. They took this initiative at department level without that top level management support or even awareness. And this created a lot of issues with billing, with marketing, and so many processes from other departments that depended on having in their database different organization entities for the specific office locations of these Apple stores, of these Apple offices. Now, top level management involvement is a must in order to provide a more organization-wide view of data quality initiatives. That's why a data quality management program needs to happen at the organization level, not only at a department level. Plus, data quality needs ongoing support and resources, and you can't achieve that without that top-level management buy-in, with that top-level management involvement. It's really not enough just to have the support of your department. It's a start, if that's all you have, but definitely don't stop there. Not needing top level management involvement for your data quality efforts is a myth. 
Do you benefit from top level management support? Please let me know in the comments below if you do or if you don't. And please don't forget to subscribe to never miss out on the upcoming videos. I publish every Thursday, but if you're hungry for more content until then, please check out the previous ones as the information found in them is informative and not out of date. Thank you.